now know where the Utes and Cougars are going dancing. Hi there, everybody. Rod here, Jeremiah there. This is your official welcome to March Madness. Yeah, BYU had to sweat out Selection Sunday until the final bracket was revealed. Dave Rose is live in studio to discuss the Cougars' eighth trip to the big dance in the past 10 seasons. For the Utes, they're a fifth seed. They're headed to Portland. The Utes 24 and 8, Stephen F. Austin 29 and 4, and winners of the Southland Conference title. The Lumberjacks have only lost once since November, but for the Utes, it's all about finally getting back to the big dance. Larry Kraskoviak's kids are pumped about the Utes' first tournament appearance in six years. Portland, Oregon. The number. So, too, are the players. It's just great to be here. It doesn't matter our opponent, you know, just to be a part of something special like this in the, in the month of Mar uh, March, you know, is just amazing. It's kind of a dream come true. Um, it's the best way I can think of ending my career here at the U. It's a great opportunity, you know, to be a fifth seed. And it's, it's, I couldn't stress it more. It's just a great opportunity to go out there and, and continue our season. It's ever since I've been playing basketball, uh, just playing an NCAA tournament means a lot. And, you know, everybody is not able to do it. And, no, I'm, we're fortunate enough to play in this. You know, one of the reasons I wanted to come here is to go to the uh, NCAA tournament, and you know, we're here, and you know, I can't wait. For a team that won only six games three years ago, 15 games the following season, this NCAA moment is special, knowing that they brought the Utes back to respectability. As a junior and me being here my freshman year and we weren't as successful as we are now, you know, it's just it's just amazing to be a part of uh, a big turnaround, you know, so it's just really a surreal feeling. It's amazing. It's also a chance to redeem themselves after the last three weeks when they lost four of their last seven. We're really hungry and, and we uh, just want to show everyone, you know, we still got a lot of fight left and, you know, it's not like any other games, you know, if we lose, we're done. It's definitely a blank slate. It feels like a new season. You know, it feels like a new season. You know, it's just, it's incredible. It's incredible to go out there and just really still compete. I know our guys are excited to be a part of this time of year, and then it's it goes without saying that, you know, if, when we lose now, we're done. So uh, hopefully maybe some of that disappointment, disappointment will, will motivate us to try to uh, focus a little bit more than we have. All right, so here we go. Utes and Stephen F. Austin will tip off at 527 or thereabouts Thursday in Portland, and you can watch this game on True TV. Coming up in about 15 minutes, the Utes will talk about the matchup with the Lumberjacks and will also break down that team and explain what the Utes have to look forward to.